Broku, Broku, ping, ping, ping. <laughs> Otherwise known as our next topic is <laughs> yeah, Marvel. So if you if you guys know, um, on the slate of Disney Plus shows was uh Armor Armor Wars. Uh, Marvel mm -hmm. was gonna do Armor Wars starring Don Cheadle. As a war machine. Original Dan Seed. Yeah. Mm. Well, that is now being redeveloped as a movie. So, interesting, interesting. Why? Well, we're going to find Let's out. Let's get to the, the nuts and bolts, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Uh, so, this comes from us via Variety. Mm. And it says, Marvel's Armor Wars, originally planned as a TV series for Disney+, Plus, is being redeveloped as a feature film, Variety has learned. Armor Wars will star Don Cheadle reprising his MCU role of James Rhodey Rhodes, a.k.a. War Machine. Uh, the project is based on Marvel There's Comics. There's only one War Machine, Larry. I'm going <laughs> to stop you right there. Right here. Right here. Yes. Yeah. The uh, project is based on Marvel Comics' seven issue arc of the same name within the story of Iron Man and follows Rhodes as he must face what happens when Tony Stark's tech falls into the wrong hands. Yesar Lester, who was originally set as the series' head writer, remains attached to write the project. This is Marvel's second big shake-up of the week. Blade director Basam Tariq stepped away from the project. Obviously, we spoke about that mm -hmm. um, in a previous video. Just two months before the film was set to begin production, signalling a potential delay from the originally set November 2023 premiere date. However, Armor Wars won't slide into that date. It's unclear when the new movie will arrive in theatres. At the D23 Expo in Anaheim earlier this month, we should be going at some point, mm. uh, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige stated that Armor Wars would follow the events of Secret Invasion, the MCU TV series set to debut in, two, in early 2023 on Disney+. Plus, yeah, yeah. In which Don Cheadle's uh, roles will also appear. On the red carpet with Variety's Mark Macklin, uh, the actor explains how the two projects are tied together. In the trailer, you see that he's got to confront Nick Fury. He and Fury are going to go at it throughout this show as far as what they need to do, um, given what's happened on this planet at this point, Ch Cheadle uh, teased. It's kind of a thriller and a different kind of show than you usually see in the MCU, which is great. Uh, that we can continue to keep changing it up and switching it up. It's lots of fun. Cheadle also confirmed that he's finished with his initial contractual obligations to Marvel Studios, but noted that he's open to additional MCU projects. Of course he is. Ah. Oh. In, other, in other news, water wet. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, it's just if something sounds fun and I'm presented with it, it's like, yeah, let's go. To note, the actor's last appearance as Rhodes, a guest spot in 2021's The Falcon and Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. earned Cheadle a primetime Emmy nomination. Uh, yeah, don't need to read the last part there. Yeah, That's the juice of that. That's the juice. So, let me go to Damien first. Yeesh. Damien, what do you make of them repackaging Armor Wars into a film? i tell you what I make of it from an external perspective for someone who's not involved in it. If I'm Terrence Howard, I'm beating the shit out of a pillow who's oh, got fingers yeah, facing well, it right now. Wow. Wow, imagine that. Like, yeah. you, know, you argue over a bit of money and then later on, he's got his own show, which practically he's got, and now he's got his own movie. I'm, I'm pissed. But with that being said, I am so happy for Don Cheadle. Oh, he's yeah. done such a good job as a character of Rhodes. Um, when he stepped into it in Iron Man 2, he, he made it his own. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to see, obviously, what's going to happen with um, Secret Wars. I'm not Secret Wars, it's... Um, Secret War, Invasion. Secret Invasion. Yeah. Um, just because it looks, again, we've talked about, obviously, and O'Reilly in terms of the political narrative. Mm. That looks like <coughs> a proper spy for the Marvel yeah. show. It's got yeah. that feeling of Captain America Winter Soldier yes. all over it. Yes, Um I'm looking forward to what we're doing Nick Fury, but the fact that they've actually gone and given him a movie says to me, this character needs it on the big screen. Mm -hmm. We've got enough of we've got enough meat to this, mm -hmm. and we've got enough we can do visually with this to mm -hmm. entice people to go on and see it at the cinema. Yeah, and I know they know people are going to go on and see it. So mm -hmm. they've got a little hook, which could be the show. Yeah, we drag that out, wait to bring the film out. So I think it's nothing but positive for the for Don Cheadle and for the character and for Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so I think it's going to do well, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, Leon, what do you make of this news? Very good news. <laughs> It's the most excellent news I've heard in a long time, you know? Uh, nah, it's good, it's good. Yeah. Um, 
Love Don Cheadle anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, terrific actor. And like yeah. you said, Terrence Howard. Mm, you trying to use your light skin privilege <laughs> and you're backfired. <laughs> That's what you get. I don't think it's that simple. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not, no, it's not no, I, I know no, you're no, just messing Yeah, yeah, I'm messing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows what went on? Mm. Like, you stand by your own. You know, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you do yeah, what you've got to do. And, and, and to be fair, Robert Downey Jr. has apologised to him since then. Yeah. About yeah, it. So yeah, it yeah, seems yeah. like Terrence Howard had mm. some grounds. Yeah. Yeah. So to, when he's now playing second fiddle to what's it in that booming film that just came out, that action film trailer just come out of what's his face out of um, Fast and Furious? Who? The oh. Uh, Barlet, Maltese ahead. Tyrese. Tyrese. Yeah, Tyrese got his new action what are you like? Out, and Terrence Howard has a small part in it. I'm like, if you got to play small part, second fiddle to, you know... Oh. Someone like Tyrese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Because let, 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 just, just call it Terrence is the better actor He's all a fantastic day. Actor. He's a brilliant fantastic actor. actor. Hustle. Fantastic <laughs> actor. Brilliant actor. Crash. Yeah. Yeah. Tyrese plays Tyrese the Maltese ahead in everything. everything. Yeah. Not much range. Yeah, not much range. Yeah, so it's just, it's just all looking rosy, isn't it? I'm um, looking yeah, good. I'm yeah. quite excited for the future, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I I like Armor Wars because not only is it going to tie in with Secret Invasion, which is going to yes. be fantastic, I can't but wait it's for that. also going. I can't wait for that yeah. as well. I can't. It's also going to tie in with um, Riri Williams because she's also part of Armor Wars because mm-hmm. she's the one that can now do the tech and do the art, the new armor and yeah. stuff like that. Obviously, she's going to appear in Black Panther, so that that's going to lead on to um, either Armor Wars movie or her own Disney Plus series, whichever one comes first, because mm-hmm. she's got her own Disney Plus yeah, series yeah, yeah, yeah. coming up as well. Mm, yeah. So, I, 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 you know, I, I think this is going to be really good. And I think it's only a positive because if they see the potential for this to be a movie instead of a Disney Plus show, that means that they see that this is going to be a very good story mm. because they know they're going to make money out of it mm. by more money putting it on uh, cinema. This is the thing. You know I think Feige is going that route now where like the moment they saw, we talk about Black Panther 2, the moment he's seen a cut of Black Panther 2, we know how good this is. Give him... But it's not Feige, it's Chapek. Or, or Chapek's lackey who decides what goes on Disney Plus True. and cinema. Mm. But, yeah. I, but I think, if anything, they probably had a series wrote for it mm-hmm. and they're probably going, right, we've seen what's happening mm-hmm. with um, Thingy Wars. Let's go with Secret Invasion. Mm-hmm. Let's go with this. Yeah. He's got the meat for it. Yeah. The same way that he's gone, right, we've seen what's going to happen with Blank Panther 2. I'm loving that. Give him the next yeah. three Avengers yeah. movies. Yeah. You know, I think Feige's trying to make those moves because he needs to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Black Panther. Mm-hmm. But but just to reiterate, it's not Feige deciding yeah. where it goes. Where it no. Goes. Yeah. He's, he, they've but taken that decision. They can make it into a film as opposed to a series. Um, That's the narrative thing. You got to, you cut yes, it yes, 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 yes. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, he would. Because, would. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, he'd, yeah. Ha- he'd have yeah, to be at the yeah, helm of that. Yeah, 100%. For it to link. Actually, then I shouldn't be so presumptuous and say that this is going on cinema. I mean, I would think so, mm, yeah. but they could just stick it on Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so Disney actually, Plus. yeah, that, that I shouldn't be so presumptuous. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's fantastic news. Mm. I'm so happy for Don Cheadle. Mm. Um, you know, fantastic actor from Hotel Rwanda. You know, just fantastic. Over so, the years, yeah, he's, man, he's yeah, done man. a lot. He's, yeah. he's done Dodge Exit in Ocean's Eleven. We can, we can. Oh. Make it pass. We can make it pass. Oh. What's that, Gavna? Yeah, uh, yeah. What's yeah. that, Gavna? But, but to be fair, many most American actors can't do a British accent. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. most. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most. most. There's one or two. Yeah, yeah. That I've got it exactly. So like guys, my man from. Um, Morbius, Jared Leto, yeah, yeah, he can do it. He mm. can do it. And even though I don't rate her as an actress, Tessa Thompson, yeah, she can. Do, yeah, she can. She can do a good one. On. Yeah, she can do a good one. Yeah. She spent some time here, <laughs> some real time here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we ramble. Yes, what do you think of this news about Armor Wars becoming a movie instead of a Disney Plus series? Great, not great. And do you think they're going to stick it on Disney Plus straight? Or it's going to be a cinematic release. And does War Machine need the real War Machine for a villain? Let us know. Yeah. He's over here. Leave us your comments down below. Let us know. Or Vending Machine. I'll be Vending Machine. I'll be spitting out the tube again. Yeah, chewing. 